Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Drink, and I'm back today with another video. As I can tell down below, we are back again with another Shein haul. It's been a hot second since y'all have seen one. I've been buying a lot of Shein stuff, but sometimes by the time I need to wear them, I don't have enough time to film the video for y'all. But that's why you follow me on Instagram so I can see this. But we're back with another Shein haul, and this time, this is all birthday inspired. For my birthday this year, I went with a gold theme. So you're gonna see a lot of things like that in this haul. This is a large one. So we're just gonna get right into it so I can tell y'all my thoughts on some of these things, what I did like, what I didn't like, what was returned, what I kept, all that good jazz. But real quick y'all, before we get into this haul, I wanna let y'all know, if you're new to this channel, you may not know that I am a Shein Campus Ambassador. And with that comes some perks for y'all. So I actually have a code for y'all to use. This is not a coupon code, so it's actually a reference code. There's a video on my page. I'll put it in the iCards in the description box below. So you know how to include this code so you can save money on your next Shein haul. But my Shein code, I'll put it up on the screen right now. It is US. 39248S. US 39248S. Make sure you put that in your Shein account and you won't have to think about it ever again. Every single time that you buy something on Shein, you're going to save money on every single purchase and you can add an extra coupon on top of that. There are no other ways for you to double and stack coupons on Shein. So I, I'm just I'm just trying to help you save money. I use the code myself. So I'm just trying to help y'all save some money on your next purchase on Shein. So make sure you use that code and let's jump right into the haul. And if you see me looking over here, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the names of the stuff. So I'm saying all the right things. But the first thing I got was this glitter V-neck bikini swimsuit. So it was really cute. If you know me, you know one of my favorite colors is gold. And if you also know me, you know I love to sparkle, I love to dazzle, I love to shine. So this is a really cute to wear. I had a pool party to wear this too and I think that vlog has already dropped um, where I wore this. But it's really cute. Um, everything fit right. The only thing that I will say is one of the straps on the top popped on me and I don't think you can see it in this vlog. I don't think I, sh not vlog. I don't think I showed it to you in the try on portion. However, the top part like broke off of wherever it was connected to. Like it was really easy. Like it broke off like very easily. But I will say for me, that wasn't necessarily a con for it because typically the way that I'm situated with things like this that comes in sets, my lower half, if you can tell, is bigger than my upper half. So usually like my top will be like a medium or a small depending on like if it's for my actual whole upper half or whatever. And then my bottoms are like a larger, extra large, anything like that. So of course with the swimsuit, I want something that's going to be comfortable. I am not a fan of thongs or anything like that up my butt crack. It's uncomfortable. I don't like a wedgie. So I bought a large in this and the top of course is going to be a little too big for my chest. So the fact that it popped actually kind of helped me, gave me an idea. So I popped off the other side too and I just tied it in the back, which was good for me because it made it more adjustable than it was meant to be. So it did pop, I'm just letting y'all know that. But for me, that was an account, it was kind of a pro because it helped me be able to tailor it more to my size and my likeness and my desires and all that other good stuff. But I liked it, it was very cute. I wore it, I liked it. Um, and I don't really have anything to complain about for that one. And the next one also goes with the swimsuit. It's this cute cover up that I got. I really like all the tie dye effects and all that sort of stuff. And I like the little peekaboo side on the side. It's like, it gives you covered because it goes from your neck or it's like a scoop neck and it goes down. So you're covered and with all like the patterns, everything's pretty much covered but it still gave like a little peekable, like, oh yeah, I'm here. Oh yeah, it's a swimsuit to cover up. So I personally liked it. And it was something different for me because if you know me, I don't really try colors that much, but this was, this made me be able to try colors a little bit more and pop a little bit more with it. So 
I would suggest it and it's very adjustable to anybody if you are someone like me as well who has a smaller top and a larger bottom. Since you have those ties on the side, you're able to adjust it more to what would fit for your thighs and your body. So I personally liked it a lot. Now the next thing I got was this crop, this brown crop top sort of vibe with the chain, um, I don't even know how to explain it, the chain straps on it. That is also really cute. I wore that um, for my birthday actually. And I really liked it. I will say, I can't really tell you about how good quality the chain is on the straps. I wear it with the chain typically, but for washing, I take it off just as a precaution, knowing that you got something from Shein. That's one thing that I will say when you're getting things from Shein, I know a lot of people complain about the quality and all that sort of stuff. But one thing that I've learned, especially with taking my fashion merchandising classes and all of that is in order for you to have items that last you for a long time, even if they are not made the best, you have to follow the manufacturer's instructions. You have to follow how they tell you to wash it. So like I take the chains off, I make sure I wash it correctly so that I don't have to worry about anything. You can't be careless with things and then be mad about the quality of it. So yeah, but other than that, it's really cute. I really liked it. I think there was like one or two stray pieces hanging out that I had to cut, but I mean, that's nothing new, that's nothing crazy to me. But I do like the versatility in it and the fact that I can take off the chains and I could wear it without the chains as just like a strapless tube top. But it's very cute. Um, you don't have to worry about any zipper in the back, it just pulls over, which is really nice. I don't, it's easier to put on and take off and all that other sort of stuff. But just another really cute one. And I'm really into the skin on skin, if you know me, a new thing that I'm trying to get into is the neutrals on myself. I haven't done it a lot, but I do like the idea of skin on skin, brown on brown. I love it. it. It's cute to me, so this is definitely one that I kept as well. Okay, the next thing I got is also very similar. This is just a satin crop bandeau top. It's just like another tube top, but it's gold. I believe I kept this one as well. Yeah, I do have this one. I don't wear it as much because it is gold and with things like that, for me personally, it's not a everyday wear sort of thing. It's not something that I could just wear on a random Tuesday, you know? It's more so it's more so for like going out or a more elegant occasion or just something where I'm dressing up, going out with the girls, whatever the case may be. So I don't wear it that much, but it is cute. Um, I will say this top is more structured. You can see the lines in it. It is a little bit more structured. It's not anything constricting because it doesn't have any zip or any lace tie up in the back or anything, but it is a little bit structured. So sometimes you can use, you can lose a little bit of the shape on your front half of your body. But other than that, it's no issue. I personally like it. It's a cute crop top. I'm into the cute different colors of crop tops. You'll see that trend a lot in this haul, but, um, I really had no issues with it. It fit perfectly fine. The only thing is, like I said, you get you lose a little bit more of the, how do I explain it? But you lose a little bit more of your natural curves in it because of how structured it is. But it is still very cute and it fits very well as well. It fits like to you since there is no zipper and it has like the scrunch part in the back. So it's another pretty good one. Now, the next thing I got is another shirt that's just similar to the one that you saw before. This one is just their flounce sleeve off shoulder crop satin top. It's also in gold, but the only difference is that this crop top is a little bit smaller and it has attached sleeves to it. I will say I did actually end up returning this one, but not because it was bad per se, but something about where, like it has, scrunches on the actual arm parts as well as you'll see and I didn't necessarily like the way it looked it didn't really look the way I would have wanted it to look it is cute it gives that um I don't even know what the correct term would be for it I want to say peasant girl but not in a bad way because I have another shirt like this it's really cute it's like it's a style I'm not explaining but it's a cute vibe but Compared to the shirt that y'all just saw before this, I kind of like that one better than with the sleeves. And if you saw my birthday vlog, I think it was my birthday vlog um, that I posted 
last year when I went to Orlando. Um, I have a shirt that's very similar that I wore for my birthday that year. So I was kind of like, okay, you already have a shirt like this. You don't really need to have another one. So that's why I went with the um, other gold crop top that y'all saw before this one. But it is also, it's a cute shirt. It's just something was off about it for me personally. Now this next portion, we're gonna start getting into some pants. Y'all already know that I struggle with finding pants that fit properly to me. And I struggle with finding pants on Shein. I mean, I haven't tried a lot of pants on Shein because finding pants in general for me, Shein or not, is tough. Or finding things that fit because when you're someone who has wider hips and a smaller waist, things just don't fit right. So yeah. But I will actually, I'm really surprised by the way these few ones that I'm about to show you fit. So the first one is these black leather pants. They also have, um, they're high-waisted, which if you know me, I'm always wearing something high-waisted. That's just what I prefer to wear. I don't like anything, I don't like low-rise or regular anything like that. I like my high-waisted stuff. And this one was really cute and it also has like the little zipper detailing in the front and the zippers do actually work they're functional so you can zip it up if you want to and show a little bit more of the ankle show like if you're wearing a strappy heel or something like that you can showcase that or you can keep it zipped up and you can wear like sneakers or something with you can still wear heels but you know so i really like these y'all they fit like a glove they fit really nice so i'm definitely gonna be getting a lot of wear out of it wear out of it especially when it starts getting in the colder months like it's really cute but yeah i have no complaints about it i've had other leather pants in the past that i haven't liked because those pants gave the vibe of it being more like trash bag looking but this one doesn't look like it's like i'm wearing a trash bag or something it looks very nice it's a nice faux leather it's really cute i will say it is a little tough to get on but that i mean for most of any leather pant that you're gonna find because of how it fits, it is gonna be that way. But once it's on, it's fine. Like you won't feel like you can't breathe or anything. It's just, you're gonna have to put a little bit of work to put it on. Now with that, the next pant that I'm gonna show you is the same exact thing, but in a lighter color. Because like I said, I was going with the gold theme for this. So I wanted to have options. I didn't know which one I wanted to wear. So this is the same exact pants, but in khaki because you know, if you find something that you like that you think is gonna be a staple, you gotta get it in every color. So I also got it in khaki because sometimes you want something that's lighter so you can have a different sort of vibe when you're going out. Because like I said, y'all, you know I've been wearing black a lot, so I'm trying to venture off into lighter and different colors. And I will say that I really did like this, especially with the, um, the zipper detailing as well. It's just really nice, everything works really good. So it's really just, what sort of shirt and what sort of vibe are you gonna go with for your outfit in the end. But both really good pants, I will say. And I will also say with both of these pants, I really loved how it hugged my curves. Like I said, small waist um, or smaller waist, bigger hips. Sometimes when it gets to the waist, you have that like pocket in the back that just like open space. I didn't have that issue with these ones. Like it fit like the glove, it fit really nice. So now we're on to the third pair of leather pants. This is also another like beige, lighter colored faux leather pants, but these ones are also high waist and this one looks more like jeans than like leggings like the other um, leather pants look like. So this one has belt loops, it also has a faux button. I don't believe that button opens, but this one looks more like pants. It has belt loops, it also has a functional button and a functional zipper to button it up, all that sort of stuff is that survive that you're going for. I will say that these did fit, they were okay, but I really liked the other leather pants. So I did end up returning these ones. However, I do recommend them. They fit really nice. They fit, you see in the video, they fit really good. It's just my main issue was like I said, sometimes things don't fit right when you have a backside that's shaped like mine. And Although it is high waisted in the back, it doesn't come up as high as I would want it to come up. So like if I'm, depending on like what underwear you're wearing or any undergarments, you might be able to see that when you sit down because of how low it comes down on the back side. And also depending on what shirt you're wearing, that could expose a little bit of your undergarments as well in the back since the pants don't come all the way up in the back. So 
just small things for me was the reason why I ended up returning it, but it's really cute. And I mean, like I didn't need two of the same colored leather pants in my closet. So one had to go and this just had to be the one. But it's really cute, especially if you're looking for something that looks more like pants, but still has that edgy leather feel to it. Now, the next thing I got was actually this mesh sort of jumpsuit, which is really cute. I was being a little edgy because if you know me, I wouldn't typically wear mesh sort of things, but it is really cute, y'all. It did fit okay for me. I am someone who, like, I know how my body works and jumpsuits don't work the best for me all the time. However, these ones were okay. I was able to still make it work. I don't know if y'all could kind of tell in the video, but sometimes, like, I have a smaller torso and upper half of my body and a long and longer legs. So sometimes things like I have extra space in the torso area of a jumpsuit. And that's kind of how this one was, but I was still able to make it work to where it wasn't like too baggy or too crazy looking. But I really do like this and it's zippered, so you will probably need some help with zipping that part up. But it's also stretchy, although there is mesh in certain areas, that upper portion is stretchy, so you should, you can zip it up yourself if you need if you don't have someone to help you zip it up. But yeah, I personally like it. You could wear it to like going out with your friends. I personally wore it to go out to like a really cute dinner with my girls. Um, and it's really cute. All you have to do is just worry about the specific type of undergarment you're wearing just because you do see that there are cutouts on both sides. And because of the straps, they're spaghetti straps, so I'll probably wear like a strapless or something with this um, jumpsuit. But really cute, make sure you lotion your knees because they got that mesh on your knees. People gonna see them if they not lotion. <laughs> but yeah, really cute. I think it's cute for like a dinner out with folks or you can, no, I think it is like more of a dressy sort of thing. So wear it when you're going out to dinner or something like that, it's really cute. <laughs> now y'all, this next question, we're gonna get some dresses that I really, I was really banking on. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was really banking on these being like the dress because I've seen it so many times on social media and I was like, yep, this is gonna be the one for me. Now, I already know with some of them because I have a thicker body, I have a bigger lower half. I know I would have some issues because some of these are risky. Not some, all of them are risky. <laughs> But let's just get into it, let's just get into it. So the first dress that y'all are gonna see is this Shein Sexy Draped Backless Split Hem Metallic Halter Dress. I'm sure y'all have seen this before. Y'all are gonna see me wear this two times because I bought two different sizes. That's what I do a lot for Shein. It's actually one of my tips. I'll probably do another Shein tip video soon. But for me, when I personally buy from Shein, if I'm concerned about how something may, may fit, I'll buy it in two sizes and then return which one I didn't like. However, with this one I had to return both. You'll see in the first one, this is a dress. It's it's promoted as a dress, so I shouldn't have to wear it with pants, right? Now I wear it with pants because YouTube and all that. However, in the first one you see that it doesn't even come past my butt, like at all. Like I like it's a shirt basically. I would have to wear it with pants, which it could have been it could have been a vibe to wear it like that. However, the intention that I had for wearing it, I did. I wanted to wear a dress. I didn't want to wear pants. Now, when I got it in the um, size large, so I got it in a medium only because, like I said, my chest, my upper half and lower half not the same size. Sometimes with dresses, I have to buy a medium so things fit correctly. But I also bought a large because I knew, hey, there's a split hem and I'm not trying to have my butt all out. Like, yes, the side is supposed to be out, but I'm not trying to have my whole butt out on display. However, even with that, it came down a little bit more and it would have been a little bit more acceptable. Like I could have worn it because my purposes for this dress, it wasn't to go out. I knew good and well, I was never gonna wear this out in the street. It's just not my vibe. It's really cute when other people do it, but I know my body. I wouldn't be able to wear something like this out in the street. If I can't bend down and pick up some off the floor without getting everybody a show, it ain't making it out the house. I personally want to wear it for a photo shoot. So it could have worked out, but it was just, it was, it was too short for comfort for me. 
it may work for other people, but for me personally, it was just too short. It wasn't something that I was comfortable with wearing. It gave more so, hey, this can be a shirt and not, hey, this is a dress, like I'm wearing a dress. So I had to return both of these, but really cute. I will say the for this, it's actually glitter, like the metallic is glitter and it does come off. So if you do decide to get this, if you're a more petite girl or a smaller girl than me and you decide to get it, I will say, just just be aware of that the glitter is going to come off if you're like you're going into your car or anything like that or if you have a jacket that you're wearing with it or anything the glitter will come off so be aware of that um but other than that it was really cute it just was too short for me personally it was it's not something that i would wear now this dress i actually bought as a backup dress i've worn this dress before i don't think y'all have seen it i actually have this dress in two other colors but i believe this dress that I bought is from, I bought it from Amazon because of how fast I needed it and not from Shein those two times, I think. No, one time I bought it from Shein, the first original time, I had this dress in red and white. The first time that I bought it, it was from Shein. The second time I bought it, it was from Amazon. But because of how fast I need to wear it, like I said, y'all didn't see it on YouTube. Um, so I already knew that this dress was going to work because I've worn it before. My only issue with this dress is that, like, I've worn it before. Like, I've worn this style, and for the purposes that I want to wear for a for a photo shoot, I wanted it. I wanted to bring something new to the table, and this wasn't something new. It was just something that's like my old reliable. So it's very cute. I will say it's a very stretchy dress. It's very cute. It's sequined, so you don't have to worry about any pilling of any glitter like the dress before. It hugs your body very nicely, like very nicely, especially because you see in the back, it has um, the crisscross tie straps in the back, so you're able to make it hug to your body. So for me personally, um, I have it in both a medium and a large. I think the first time I got it in a large, the second time I got it in a medium because I like my upper half, I want that to fit right. And because it's stretchy, I already know it's gonna fit the curves and all that on the bottom half or on the lower half. I would rather it fit my top half so I don't go flashing anybody in the street. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute. Like I said, this is my old reliable type of dress. So I personally love it. It would be really cute for like a New Year's. My white dress, I wear it for a white party. The red dress, I just wear it for something that I did on stage. But it's very cute and you're sure to have all eyes on you, so. I would, girl, just buy the dress. Just, just buy the dress. Just, just buy it. Now this next dress goes back to the first dress that I showed y'all because I really wanted to give it a chance. Y'all, I knew that I was, that the odds were against me while searching for and trying to buy this dress. So I gave myself three whole options. I gave Shein three times to make it work for me. And this third time, it also did not work for me. Once again, just way too short. I was, I will say with this one, with this version of it, I was a little bit more, I would have been a little bit more comfortable with wearing the dress for the photo shoot, as long as I wore like some skin tone undergarments or something. But once again, it was just way too short for me. And also this one, it only goes up to a size medium which is also an issue because it honestly kind of didn't really fit. You see at the top of my um at the top of my waist in the back there's like extra it's not even fabric cuz it's like it's this is a heavy duty type of dress. Um but there is extra fabric rolled up at the top and it's just because my hips are too large and if like you can't pull this dress down if you try to pull this dress it will snap and break on you. This is not fabric, this is actual metallic. It's heavy duty. If you try to stretch, it will snap and break. So I wasn't trying to break it, which is also another reason why I ended up returning it because it doesn't fit and I can't afford to break a dress that cost a uh, okay amount of money. <laughs> so for me, once again, it just didn't work and the top was just way too big for my chest. Um, and I would have needed a good deal of tape and all that sort of stuff to rig it up, make it look good. But it's really cute. Like, you know, I love the gold. I love the 
dazzle to it, but it just, it just wasn't gonna work for me. So this one did also get returned. So the next time I'm gonna show y'all is actually another shirt. And this does follow the same vibe of the dress that y'all saw, but it's just in a crop top, bra, bando side of sort of thing. And y'all, this is really cute. I did keep it, I still do have it. It's just hard to find time to wear because it's, it's a statement shirt. I will say, however, with this one, you're gonna have to be aware of the undergarments you're wearing um, or just, you know, be a part of the Free the Nip community. I am not a part of that community, however. If you are, I would make sure that you at least still like tape them up or something because depending on the angle that you're wearing this top in, you could show a little bit of under boobage and all of that, which could be your vibe. It could be really cute. For me, it's not though. Um, so I just, I still have it. I just wore it with uh, with tape underneath. Um, so it wasn't that big of an issue, but it's just something to be aware of. It's just short. So depending on how large your boobs are or anything like that or how small they are, that is something that you may come across. But I will say, make sure you're very delicate with this top. It's same thing like the dress before. It is heavy duty. It's chain, it's actual metallic. There's no glitter, no nothing on it. So if you do stretch and you pull or you snag the chain in the back, that could be RIP to your shirt, unfortunately. But it is very heavy duty. It's quality, it's nice. Like I said, I still have it. I just have to find more reasons to dress up to wear it. <laughs> but it's a really cute top. Now we're gonna get into some few accessories that I also picked up along with this haul. The first one is this really cute mini drawstring bucket bag. It's really cute, I love the chain. Once again, it's the gold, it's the sparkle, it's giving. I'm going out to dinner with the girls, which is actually, I believe, where I wore this. I wore it out to dinner with the girls. It's really cute. It's a smaller bag, which is why I personally don't wear it that much. Also, because it's not an everyday bag, as you can see. This is a I'm going out sort of bag. You don't wear this to the grocery store. But um, I personally don't wear it that much just because if you know me in real life, you know I'm the mom of all my friend groups. And I like to bring everything with me. For some reason, I feel like if I leave the house, something crazy might happen. So I always have everything that you could possibly think of on me. So the bag is too small for what I would want to take. However, for the purpose that I wore it for to go out with the girls where I wanted to look cute, I wanted to take pictures, I made the sacrifice and I made sure I only brought what was necessary. So that's what this type of bag is. It's part of the small bag sort of community, but it's really cute. Fits an okay amount of things. Um, just know that you're not gonna be able to bring everything in the kitchen sink with you. <laughs> but it's really cute. Now this next one is also another purse that I actually, it actually ended up becoming my everyday purse for about a month or so, and it's still hanging up with me today. The chains have a little, like they're loosening up the connection. However, you could just change the, um, you could change the strap. But other than that, it's a really cute bag. It's also another small bag. So I was actually surprised that this became my everyday bag for a little bit because like I said, I like to bring everything in the kitchen sink with me, but it made me focus and only bring what was necessary when I went out, which is sometimes a prayer. You don't want to be bringing all this extra stuff. This, although it is a little bit more of a dressier purse, you can wear it to the um, supermarket and all that because it isn't too, dressy sort of looking. So I've worn it to the grocery store and stuff like that before. But it's really cute. It's not my typical everyday because if you know me once again, I like my blacks, I, especially with accessories so they don't get dirty and messed up. However, this one is a good one. Like I said, I wore it for, it was my everyday bag for at least a month and somewhat. And it's still with me to this day. So I would definitely suggest getting this bag. Now the last thing are some shoes, cause you know, you've seen a haul before where I've done shoes. I I personally don't have no issues with Shein shoes, so I decided to try out some new ones. I don't have any strappy heels, so I was like, okay, let me try out some new go strappy heels. And I will say these are okay. However, <laughs> I did end up returning these for two main reasons. One, it was just too big for my foot. So that's kind of on me for choosing the wrong size. Now with shoe shopping a little bit more, I'm realizing that my depending on where we at, my shoe size is different. So the biggest thing was that it was too big for my foot. 
The second thing is that for the look that I was going for, yes, it is strapped and it did strap up a little bit. It The straps weren't long enough for the vibe that I was going for, which is not necessarily Shein's fault in the way that they made it. But I personally think that I have some larger calves. I feel like my daddy gave me some large calves. So sometimes things don't work on my calves, like boots and all that sort of stuff. So I did end up returning it for that reason as well. I wasn't able to really tie the straps up as high as I would have wanted to, to give the vibe that I was going for. So it was just too big and the straps weren't long enough. But other than that, it was a really nice shoe. I would suggest it if you're looking for a more statement sort of shoe for going out or anything, because like it's gold, it's metallic. It has like somewhat of a snake-ish skin vibe to it, but it's a really cute shoe, so I would suggest it. Um, yeah. So y'all, that is the end of this Shein haul. Hopefully y'all liked it. It gave y'all a little bit more statement things. It gave y'all a little bit more dressier things. A little more insight into me and my gold, sparkly aesthetic and vibe that I go for. But make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at I'm Sincerely G, just so you can see more of me actually styling these outfits. Like I said, this haul was actually meant for a photo shoot. So I do have a lot of pictures in these clothes that y'all will see soon on Instagram so y'all can see just how I styled it, how it looked, that it was really cute and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's, I'm really excited, the pictures are really cute. So make sure you follow me on Instagram just so y'all can see those pictures over there. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you know when another haul like this is coming or just another video from me because y'all, I, I promise y'all, there is another Shein haul coming. You, you, you should already know by this point that there's gonna be another Shein haul. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the vibes, on the fits, on the looks, on the deals and all that sort of stuff. And remember that I love you guys so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Drew, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.